We're going to be making fantail goldfish. This project is for four to five year old students. We're going to make one fish and work with that. So eye, create a circle around your eye, create the over. going to be working in with gouache paint so step one get yourself once your picture is drawn in you can add in your wash colors we start with a light tone when we try to add more colors to it so just a very little bit of color goes a very very long way Once you've got, and I didn't try to do it perfectly, as you can see, it's going to be just mix it in. Always apply your concentrated colors to one side, and then with some clean water, you can bring the color to mix in with everything else. You can intensify color as you need to. So maybe the back of the headline followed by the eye could be one place. The top of the fin could be another. Clean that brush off. Don't keep working with a brush that has loaded with color because that's just going to get away from you. Again, I add color to a few parts, but then I stretch that color to so that I just stroke over it once, then stroke to a new place twice, then stroke to a third place once, and then again. And I spread my colors out the way that I would like to see them move. And there you have a koi fish that's got various hues of yellows and oranges. And that's all you want to do with it for right now. You go ahead and get yourself your greens and add your greens in to your plants. Always trace your outlines just like this with your brush. Hold your brush close so that it's in your control and not the other way around. And you can work with two colors like you see me doing here at a time. You add one shade of dark green or light green to one side and add the second to the other side. Beautiful green plants at the bottom of the pond. 
pond where the koi fish is swimming. To make water around the fish, you pretty much paint just water. I've tinted my water a little bit so that you all can see as to where, how far I spread that water. And then I get me some paint and just release that onto the water. You work in sections so that you can really control this thing out. Here we go. This should work. So if I wanted to protect my area underneath. Water is what you need when you're working with wash, but not too much of it. Enough so as you can control it. So there you go. That covers one area. Now, go to their second area, add your water. Seeing as you started from the top, it's a good idea to maintain that. And not try to go to a different part of the picture. It's also a good idea to have two different colors that you can float in the water. Don't become too intense because your goldfish is nice and soft right now. So you would want to Go in and apply any colors as you needed to. Don't need to have all the water around the fish being very, very intense. You can afford to put in a few light areas as well. Just trace around it. Blue and green sit next to each other very close on the color wheel. So they always complement. If you end up going a little bit over your line and you get closer to the green, it won't hurt you but a little bit of water at a time. Don't go in too, too fast. So that will help you maintain yourself. with the water as you see right always maintain your boundaries don't go in too close to your uh, watercolor barriers in this picture we have drawn with a plain pencil and we have moved into starting our colors when you do something like that then you want to really maintain your boundaries now the alternative to this would be to create some resist barriers that means you draw the lines of your fish and your plants in with something that blocks the paint from going into them. For example, a crayon or um, all pastel stick. That does the job really, really well. So you won't go wrong with those at all. Just go between two different shades of blue. It doesn't have to be perfect. Whatever appeals to you, just use them and apply. Now come in a little bit more closer to your fish's body, nice and gentle using the tip of your brush and you can get all your white ends all covered. If you get a little patch like this, just blend it into your background. Don't leave it as a patch because it will dry that way. So you want to get all your stuff done you can of course increase this picture to being two goldfishes or whatever. So that would be our painting part of this whole process. Last but not least, if you wanted to, you could definitely think of taking a colored pencil 
and adding in a few scales just like that randomly because by now the fish has dried up enough to where it's got And that is the entire fan-tailed goldfish project. Thank you so much.